Hello Taurus! Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Eva Spirit Tarot. This is going to be your love life reading for couples, December 2020. What Spirit wants you to know. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Of course, this reading won't resonate with every single Taurus out there, but I have put my intentions in this that those who need to find the messages will. So please feel free to share these videos if it pertains to others you know, that would be wonderful. I am a channel and as such, I channel lots of different beings, collectives and guides through the decks that I have here, as well as through the stones and crystals. So if you see cards flying around or my voice changing, it's just the result of a lot of energy in this space. Links to schedule a personal reading with me will all be down below in the description box. Thank you so much, Taurus, and let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I've already pulled some cards for you. Spirit has been guiding me to do that lately uh, before filming so that when we start, we can go straight in. And as I was tuning into your energy, I actually started to feel a little bit dizzy, physically dizzy. So that might be something that you're experiencing right now. Um, it can also relate to a sense of feeling confused within within the relationship that you have. Um, yeah, they're saying uh, not knowing which way is up, confusion, uh, lack of clarity. They're also saying lack of purpose as well or lack of direction. So some of you may be feeling that you don't quite know uh, which way the relationship is heading. They're also saying to me that... Um, the result, uh, external circumstances or external pressures uh, could be potentially creating uh, something in the relationship that makes you feel like uh, uncertain about its future, sort of like maybe you saw it going one way and now because of certain things that are going on, you don't know if that road is possible anymore or you feel like it's going a different way. They're showing me train tracks um, so they're, they're indicating sort of direction with that. And they're, um, they're showing me the Wheel of Fortune as well. But they're highlighting with the Wheel of Fortune that it's sort of like at this point in time, it could go either way. Um, they're highlighting also to say that uh, there are different um, paths, there are different uh, trajectories or different timelines. And it's all about, you know, deciding for yourself which one you want to go on. Um, and um, they're highlighting the need to get clear within yourself about what it is you actually, uh, okay, the outcome, they're saying outcome that you want to achieve relative to this relationship, but they're saying not only relative to the relationship, but relative to the uh, circumstances that are going on. And they're really highlighting like bills and um, uh, finances as well. So maybe you, you know, you live with someone and there's some sort of financial pressures um, they're saying job changes or loss of a job, something like that. There's something going on um, in the in the finances. They're also saying, um, okay, they're saying the discovery of something relative to finances. So maybe someone didn't know about a certain amount of money or money being spent or something like that. And now everything is sort of um, laid out on the table and, you know, that sort of changes things in some way. So there's something going on where there's a bit of strain, a bit of pressure. They're also saying it could just be that... Um, it's it's a tough tough time or a tough period or a tough month and um, and and as a result um, there's okay how do I say that they're saying that it's uh, the result of some sort of financial pressures may be creating some sort of um, dryness within the relationship where it's sort of like the warmth or coldness is yeah uh, where the warmth doesn't quite feel there because. Um, they're saying there could be a little bit of resentment from one side about the finances or so maybe someone's in some way blaming someone else about it. They're saying there's a need to communicate these things out to sit down and discuss and just get very um, kind of uh, don't avoid the important things that need to be done. Just sort of face it. But they're saying to do it together, not to do it separately. OK, let's have a look at the cards and see what we've got. OK, so the first card we've got is the Fool. And the second card we've got is the Two of Pentacles. I'm going to tune into the Four first and give you the message. So just give me a moment, please. Okay, so what they're talking to me here about is this idea of um, looking out, looking out to broad horizons, um, looking out to new ventures. They're saying that um, they're actually highlighting creativity with the Four here. And they're talking about um, expanding your network or expanding your framework or expanding your um, 
ways to earn income, so your income streams. So they're talking about just, um, okay, another message is coming through. They're also, with regards to expanding, they're also talking about ways to spice up a relationship. So if it feels, because I did say dry, if it somehow feels dry in some way that is just sort of lacking in passion, they're also highlighting to kind of explore uh, different territories and kind of just try try some things to, um, they're saying get creative, get creative. It's not really, a, they're not really talking about passion, so to speak, as much as they're talking about creativity with that message. They're showing me, um, they're showing me, what is that, like, uh, um, hiking or going climbing up a mountain and, and walking on some uh, they're saying canoeing walking on some sort of um, bridge roped bridge and you know doing some sort of adventures or activities together they're also showing so that's a separate message but they're just highlighting the need to kind of look out um, to your options as saying not to um, be closed in and focus um, on the problems themselves exclusively. So they're showing me now somebody who would be doing some sort of research and also doing some sort of meditation because if you're feeling a bit stressed about things right now, it's a good idea to try to release that tension. Um, they're also saying yoga as well. So the message here is to expand your energy, expand your knowledge um, so that you can become aware of opportunities that will um, help your situation in some way okay and with the two of pentacles let's see what the message is here okay they're they're talking about um uh having some uh they're talking about choices choices okay they're also connecting it again to the full card and they're saying um uh not to go back and um they're saying not to see whatever's troubling you right now with your relationship, whether it's the relationship itself or the or some of you are having external circumstances that are sort of um, impacting the relationship, to not see um, the solutions as sort of one thing or the other thing, just sort of two things. And again, with the full card, they're talking about really broadening um, your knowledge and awareness. And, and again, they're t talking to me about uh, coming together with your partner and having a conversation about it very it feels very sort of complex because they're trying to um talk to as many of you watching as possible rather than getting into too many specifics here i can tell so um yeah broaden yourself up to um allow different solutions to come in the next cards you've got from the decks uh for the, the next deck the first card is partnership and the second card is savings. Okay, so they're telling me that I can read these ones, so I will. The partnership card says, allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result. Okay, so exactly. So this is just um, a confirmation here. So what I just picked up on earlier about opening yourself up, um, they're saying the same thing here about, they're also um, talking about allowing um, reaching out for help if you need, okay? So if your finances are in trouble, um, they're saying reach out to family, reach out to friends, get a loan if you need to, that sort of thing. But of course, always be smart about it. Um, but to uh, not, they're saying not to struggle alone, not to um, isolate yourself and carry, yeah, not to carry this burden with yourself, by yourself, um, to open yourself up, talk to somebody, um, talk to your partner first and foremost and so so that you can start to receive help from different angles and with the savings card um, okay they're talking about um, saving saving the moments interesting I'm just gonna get some water yeah they're talking about saving <clears throat> the moment so um, they're actually talking to me about uh, what would help uh, with your frequency right now is to take some time to go back or think back about they're showing me sort of memorabilia like looking back at um, old photos and things like that and sort of savoring um, going back and remembering those special moments and they're also talking about savoring the good times that you have now and sort of um, catching those catching those moments um, that you have uh, with your partner uh, okay, they're also talking about, they're, they're really showing me sort of like a family, um, you know, with, with like young kids, two young kids, something like that, 
living in some sort of house that has different floors and they're they're showing me the message that they're giving me is that you know this couple needs to save some time for themselves they need to have a bit of alone time to uh, they're using the word rekindle something now so they're talking about that and wanting uh, to establish some sort of reconnection again um, they're also saying that by savoring those moments and remembering why you're together in the first place why you love each other in the first place is going to help you come together to face whatever external challenge you might be facing right now and then to discuss and open yourselves up together to see um, what solutions uh, there might be that might be different to what you'd normally do um, let me just see if there's anything else that they want to say with regards to savings um, they're okay, they're talking about planning, planning for the future. There's, they're, they're just saying that it's a good idea to plan, to um, think a little bit ahead, but um, they're saying not to get too stressed about it, but they do uh, recommend that it's a good idea to um, allocate. They're really talking about money here. They're saying to allocate money for different things. They're highlighting the need to do that. And um, not. they're saying not to be too scrambled in your finances to get clear and they're, they're showing me sort of like writing things down maybe making some sort of spreadsheets they're saying that for some of you this will ease your anxiety okay all right Taurus that's what I got very sort of interesting read um, definitely had some external things going on there but I hope that that helps thank you so much take care and I'll speak to you soon Bye bye